We're staying in Florida and heading to Blue Spring on the St. Johns River. Every winter it becomes home to several hundred manatees who move into the warm water refuge when the river temperature drops. Manatees, or sea cows as they're also known, are the gentle giants of the marine mammal world. They graze almost exclusively on seagrass and have relatively small brains compared to their massive bodies that can grow to almost four meters. Wayne Hartley has been studying manatees here for 35 years. The manatees come to Blue Spring just to be warm. That river gets down to eight degrees Celsius and that's terrible for them. They look fat, but they don't have blubber like people think of whales. They've got to be here in order to survive. Manatees have poor eyesight, so they rely on their other senses to perceive the world. They not only have incredibly sensitive whiskers, but scientists have discovered that the hairs which cover their whole bodies make them super sensitive to their surroundings. The manatee's closest relative is actually the elephant, a famously intelligent and maternal animal. And like elephants, the females share nursing duties with each other. But another visitor in the creek is a cold-blooded killer, the alligator. And this one is bigger than most. An alligator who stays here grows much bigger, much faster than other alligators because he stays out all winter long, hunting and eating. A fearsome predator and a docile vegetarian in the same waters sounds like a disaster waiting to happen. But the crystal clear water has allowed researchers to capture on film this incredible footage of a manatee nuzzling an alligator's nose and getting no response. In 30 years, manatee expert Dr. Roger Reap has never seen anything like it. This alligator is totally comfortable having this manatee nose it and nudge it and uh essentially try to, what looks like trying to initiate play. They both seem to be interacting in a way that neither finds threatening at all. The alligator's lack of reaction is totally unexpected. Like most people, I was surprised the alligator didn't strike at the manatee. So what is going on? One theory relates to the water temperature of Blue Spring. Heated by a thermal current, at 22 degrees centigrade, it's warm enough for the manatees over the winter, but not for a cold-blooded reptile. One of the things about this environment is that the water's colder than alligators usually prefer, so they rest a lot. It seems the manatees have used their intelligence to work this out for themselves. They know it's safe to get up close, and on occasion, rather playful with their deadly neighbors. Play behavior involving alligators is something I would have never thought of until I saw this video. I think what it's telling us is that manatees are very interested in exploring their environment and finding out what's in it. They have curiosity. And so I think it's intelligent behavior by the manatees. The researchers here have observed nearly a dozen examples of these playful encounters. I've seen big adults rolling and playing, rolling over an alligator. And after 20 minutes, the alligator said, I've had enough, went out in the river. Manatees do play. They play with alligators. They play with everything out there. The alligator's just something else in their environment. And they think, hey, what can we use this for? Even a baby manatee shows no fear of an alligator almost twice its size. Playfulness and curiosity are demonstrated by the most intelligent animals. And in this remarkable new footage, a manatee appears to be using a tree stump to scratch itself. Which could be evidence of tool use in manatees, a behavior only known in clever animals. So appearances can be deceptive. I think there's a lesson in here for all of us because we tend to be very impressed by fast-moving creatures such as predators. We're less 
impressed in terms of what we think cleverness or intelligence entails by a mammal, in this case a manatee, that's slow moving. Those are the animals we kind of consider boring or stupid. But manatees are not, as some people might think, just slow and dim-witted. Rather, there are processes going on that it's up to us to learn to appreciate.